Hey, are you one of those who has a WordPress website and are you using any type of contact form? But as soon as someone submits that particular form, you are also getting this kind of error. And if answer is yes, then stay tuned, watch this video till the end because in this video, I am going to tell you how to resolve this error and how to get email notification when someone submits your form on the WordPress website. Hi guys, my name is Rahul and you are watching My Online Master Global. So guys, as you can see right now, I am on the website and just like you guys, I also have a contact form which have name, email, number and message field. But the problem is same. If someone fills this form, I don't get any email notification and the error, you know, it shows is that is that there is some error in sending email. Please try again later, something like that. And guys, this problem does not occur only with the contact form seven. But if you are facing with any of the plugin, the main reason is that your hosting provider does not support the default email function, which is supported by the PHP, you know, language. And since the WordPress is uh, built on PHP system. So it uses the default mail function. And if your hosting provider does not support that, then in that case, you will not get email notification. But don't worry, there is a quick hack to solve this. And for any plugin, this will work. So stay tuned, watch the video. And in order to solve this problem, all you need to do is you need your website and a Gmail ID or G Gmail account. These are the two things that you need and you will be sorted. So first step is to come to your dashboard and go to plugin section, click on add new plugin here we will use a simple plugin that is called WP SMTP or you can simply search for SMTP so search for SMTP once you search for SMTP you will get multiple plugins but you need to install the first plugin that is WP mail SMTP by WP forms click on install now and once the installation is done click on activate installation is done now click on activate so this was our step number one now step number two is to configure this plugin and to create an smtp api using our gmail account so once you activate this plugin it will show you this kind of setup just click on go back to dashboard and it will take you to the dashboard again on wp dashboard so here you need to enter the mail id which you will be using so by default i'll be using this mail id so i'll just enter this email id and I will paste it here like this. And after that, scroll down, scroll down and choose Gmail as the mailer option. Once you select the Gmail option, it will ask you for the client ID, client secret and authorized redirect URL it will be providing you. So you just need to keep this screen as it is. And meanwhile, open a new tab, go on to Google and search for Google Developer Console, Google Developer Console. And please make sure that you have a Gmail account with you in order to get this done. Once you are on this platform, I'll also provide this link in the description box. So you can check it out directly. So you will see this kind of a screen by default and make sure you are logged in with any of your Gmail ID and that Gmail ID should be uh, yours only or you, you should have the access. Now here you will click on create project. So either click on here or you can click on here as well. So here the pop-up will open and here the click project new project option is there. Click on that. Here you can give it a name. So not a problem. I will give name as SMTP. You can give as uh, you know, any name, it will not be visible to the user. Now click on create. Once you create a new project after that, the next step is to create credentials. So that is something I will be telling you in shortly. So here my project is now created. You can say project is created and here the project is selected SMTP. Now here you need to click on enable API and services. Click on this. Once you click on this, you will search for Gmail. You will search for Gmail in the search box and you will see Gmail API. Click on this Gmail API. Once you click on this Gmail API, here you will see an option called enable. You just click on enable. Don't worry guys, this method will work for every kind of WordPress plugin, not a problem. So uh, just follow all the steps as it is. And if you face any problem, do let me know in the comment section. So once you enable this API, the next screen you will see is about the settings of this uh, particular API. And don't worry, these are not technical steps. These are just, uh, you know, user interface, some clicks here and there, not a problem. Once you enable the API, now from the left hand side, you will see authentication consent screen. Click on this. Once you click on this, then it will ask you for some, you know, details. So we will providing the details. So user type will be external, choose on external and click on create. And then here you can give the app name. So in my case, I'm giving the website name, not a problem. Email by default, the same email you can select, you can uh, leave as it is other option. And here also 
you can give the same email id that you selected above and once you are done click on save and continue then in the next screen you are not supposed to add anything just click on save and continue and again click on save and continue and it will ask you for the summary yes correct click on back to dashboard so once you've done with this step now click on publish app click on publish app and click on confirm don't worry guys don't you know put into the hassle that what is happening or what is not happening this is a quick solution for your problem and there is no limit there is you know there is no problem in this method it will work flawlessly not a problem once it is done now click on credentials on the left hand side click on credentials once you click on credential here you will see the option create credential click on this and click on o auth client id and here you need to choose application type that is web application that is our website and you can name as it is not a problem here you need to add your domain name so just go on to the website only the main domain name needs to be copied and pasted here so just copy and paste make sure you also add https or http and then in the uh, you know enter in this and here authorized redirect url it will be taken from here so authorized redirect url just click on this button it will be copied come back here click on add url now paste this url that you copied and then click on create once you click on create we are almost done 90 percent things are done now you have a client id and client secret so just copy this come back to the dashboard paste it here and the second thing is client secret so we'll click on copy again come back paste it here and once these two things are done we will click on save settings so this is our 90 percent work done now we are only one click away in order to make this functionality working that is this allow plugin to send email using your google account yes so click on this and you will be choosing your email id that you use to set up this entire thing you will see this uh, screen that it is not verify not a problem click on advance click on go to wp mail setup and then click on continue once you have done this now you are done with your setup completely and the next step that is last step is to check whether now the form is working or not make sure that you should able you should be able to uh, see this that connected as whatever your email id is if you are able to see this option it means it is activated now come back to the website whether it, uh, it is working or not let's test it out refresh the browser once window once and now here let's enter some dummy details and let's try to send this submit this let's say if it submits or not yes it is submitted successfully now let's see whether we receive any email notification or not so here is our what you say the mail id and yes you can see we just received an email notification demo demo you can set up this email body as per your uh, convenient easily so that's how you can solve this problem which is related to you are not receiving any email uh, when someone submits a particular form on your wordpress website or if there is an error this will work for every sort of plugin because it is not plugin dependent the separate plugin that is wp mail smtp will do the trick and it will enable you to send email notifications from your wordpress website to the user and as well as admin as so guys that's it for this video i hope you liked the video and if you found it useful then don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you never miss an update from our side whenever we upload a new video on our channel thank you so much i will catch you in the next video